rewarding side is when you get to show your movie to an audience. The rest of it, getting there, that's hell. <laughs> I didn't wake up and go, I want to be a producer. I wanted to do anything in the business, and I think that's a great uh, model to live by. You know, you, you come out of school, don't say this is what I want to do. Take the opportunities that are presented to yourself and see where life's journey takes you. Oh, shut up and fly straight! People tend to separate out production and creative, and I don't think you can do that. They go hand in hand. And when I was an executive at 20th Century Fox, I tried to instill that in everybody who worked for me, that it wasn't this division. That unless you understand the repercussions of your decisions on a production side, you understood them creatively, you couldn't be making the right production decisions. And unless you understood the implications on the productions on a creative side, you couldn't really be doing your job and not knowing what's possible. It's very important that a producer and a director have a very clear target in mind for what the movie is supposed to be. And then it's a divide and conquer mentality. Jim can't be everywhere I am. I can't be everywhere where Jim is. But behind the scenes, I could go talk to people and push them along and make sure they're staying on course. Whether they're a CG artist, whether they're the sound mixer, whether they're the editor, if they don't understand the goal, you're going to have something that doesn't work. Ah! Also, making people feel a part of the process. And that gets them ex excited, that gets them invested, that gets them committed. Everybody should have an opinion, and everybody should articulate what their opinion is. But you can't do it unless you can really explain the reasoning behind it. That's the only way you can have a dialogue with another creative person. No one ever said, I heard a good movie. It's, I saw a good movie. And you need to put up visuals on the screen that are compelling and engaging, whether it's my dinner with Andre on a small scale, or Avatar on a much larger scale. You're making movies for someone else to see and to experience. So share what you create, hear the feedback, learn from it. You don't have to listen to it, but you have to learn from it. Don't take it too hard, Wayne. It will take time to convince people without proof. We are defined more by how we get up from our failures and what we learn from them than by our successes. And I think every artist that you, you see out there has had the failures. It's how they've responded to those. So don't be afraid to dream and don't be afraid to fail.